When it comes to Indian Prime Ministers, no one has been as influential and as prominent as Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. You can say he was one of the founding fathers of modern India and has played the most significant role in shaping the, the philosophy of the country we know today. Here is the story of India's first Prime Minister. Hello folks, today on Behind the Date, we will talk about one of the prominent figures in Indian history, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. An aspiring lawyer, he dramatically transformed his outlook on life, much as Gandhi did to become India's first prime minister. But what was his journey? How did he fight against the British? Find answers to all these and more in this video. Nehru was born on 14 November 1889 in Allahabad in British India. His father, Motilal Nehru, was a wealthy barrister who belonged to the Kashmiri Pandit community. His mother, Swaroprani Thusu, who came from a prominent Kashmiri Brahmin family, was Motilal's second wife, the first having died in childbirth. Jawaharlal was the eldest of three children. He had two younger sisters, Vijaya Lakshmi, the first female president of the United Nations General Assembly, and Krishna Huthi Singh an acclaimed writer. Jawaharlal Nehru grew up in a rich and pleasant environment. He was taught at home by private tutors and was frequently encountered in the company of some of the time's most powerful families. A blanket of security was often on him. At 1907, Nehru moved to England and studied natural science at Trinity College, Cambridge, before going on to study law at Temple Inn to become a lawyer. He tried practicing law after moving to India but found it uninteresting, so he gradually steered to a route he had always known he would eventually go. Politics Nehru became associated with Congress as early as 1913. He believed that people, particularly those in positions of authority, could not be moderate, that they must take a more outspoken posture against the British and make it clear to all that India desires independence. So, when Annie Besant and Balgangadhar Tilak founded the Home Rule League in 1916, a political organization dedicated to achieving independence from British rule, Nehru became an enthusiastic member of the organization, quickly rising its ranks to become an instrumental member. Nehru helped to spread the Home Rule League's message of independence wherever he could, he organized rallies and gave speeches in support of the cause. Nehru also helped to organize boycotts of British goods and services. This was a major part of the Home Rule Movement's strategy, and it was very successful in raising awareness of the struggle for independence. In 1920, the Indian National Congress launched the Non-Cooperation Movement, which was a civil disobedience campaign against British rule. Nehru was again an enthusiastic participant in the movement, organizing protests and rallies across India. He was also arrested for his involvement in the movement, and he spent several months in jail. During this time, Nehru wrote extensively on Indian politics and the need for freedom from the British. He also helped to form the Swaraj Party, along with his father Motilal Nehru in 1923, which aimed to bring together all Indian political parties in the fight for independence. Nehru was also a major influence in the civil disobedience movement, which was launched by Gandhi in 1930. He played a significant role in organizing protests and strikes, and was arrested multiple times for his participation. Nehru also actively sought to promote unity among all different religious and ethnic groups in India, and his efforts were instrumental in helping to create a strong sense of national identity among Indians. He led the Congress party as the president four times in his lifetime, most by any leader, which also made him a unanimously accepted successor to Gandhi as the next big political leader of the country. In 1942, when Gandhi along with Nehru launched the Quit India movement, which was one of the most significant acts of civil disobedience during the struggle for independence, Nehru yet again played a key role in organizing the protests and demonstrations and yet again, and spent two years in jail. But his struggle soon yielded fruit, as the British administration chose to heed the demand and declare India an independent state just five years after the agitation began. And amongst the people, there was no question on who would head the newly sovereign country. At the stroke of the midnight hour, 
When the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. Nehru was a multifaceted leader. He was a lawyer, a statesman, a writer, a philosopher, and an inspiring leader. His achievements are numerous and varied, but they all helped to shape India into the nation it is today. He served as the Prime Minister of India for a record 16 years, the most by any leader since then. He was a proponent of democracy and helped to create a democratic India. He was the main architect of the Indian Constitution, which was adopted in 1950. The Constitution was based on the principles of liberty, equality, and fraternity, and established India as a secular, democratic country. Nehru also championed the concept of Panchil, or the five principles of peaceful coexistence between nations. Nehru was also a strong advocate for universal education and was instrumental in establishing the education system in India. He believed that education was essential for the development of the country and implemented many reforms to enable that. He also helped in establishing the All India Council for Technical Education and the University Grants Commission to promote higher education. He also believed in strong economic development and introduced several reforms to strengthen the Indian economy. He was the first to introduce the five-year plans, which focused on industrial and agricultural development. Under his leadership, the government established several public sector undertakings such as the State Bank of India, Hindustan Steel, and Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited to promote industrial development. Nehru was a firm believer in non-alignment and peaceful coexistence in international relations. He was one of the founding members of the non-aligned movement and played a key role in its establishment. He also advocated for nuclear disarmament and was a fierce opponent of colonialism and imperialism. Nehru was also an advocate for social justice. He introduced several reforms to improve the lives of the poor and disadvantaged. He was instrumental in establishing the Planning Commission to focus on economic and social development. He also laid the foundations for the Indian welfare state, introducing a number of social welfare schemes such as the public distribution system and the National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme. Nehru died of a heart attack in 1964, leaving behind a lasting legacy. He is remembered as a leader who championed democracy, economic development, social justice, and international peace. His achievements have had a lasting impact on India and the world and will continue to do so for generations to come. In honor, India celebrates his birthday as Children's Day. Also, as we talked about first in this video, we do recommend watching our previous one on India's first female president and the controversies that followed. It's intriguing, inspiring, and shocking.